Hey first grade, it's Mrs. Myers. Today I am here to read In Motion with you. So remember, when I have a video that's one of the geodes, I want you to read with me. So get out your My Geodes, open up to In Motion, and let's read together. But before we do, I want to remind you what fluent reading means. So if I'm a fluent reader, that means that I am reading without stumbling. That means I'm reading smooth like you got it, butter. That means I'm not reading like a robot. And that means I have a good pace or a good speed, not too fast and not too slow. So if you have to practice reading this a few times, just keep replaying the video so you can get a better pace and that's okay. So open up to page one. This also has a lot of the text features that we um, have been talking about all year. So let's start at the top of page one. Look, and you see the little um, page one is a flag. You spot a flag. It flaps in the sky. You feel a breeze. It brushes past your skin. You hear a strong gust. It slams the door. Flip. And this text has some really beautiful pictures. I love them. The photographs are amazing. Remember, a photograph is a real picture that someone took on a camera. We're on page two. This is the wind. We cannot see it, but it is there. The wind brings motion to our world. Flip. And there's a heading that says, how is the wind formed? Air is all around us. It fills the sky over the earth. When the sun shines on the earth, the air gets hot. And then just like um, in our seahorse book, there is some text um, features at the bottom that has it's the little text so when a text is smaller that means that it, it's still important but it your eye is not drawn to it so you have to go to the bottom to read what the extra information or the fact is at the bottom so in green it says the Sun is a very big hot star it brings light and heat to the earth we're on page five now this hot air drifts up once it has drifted up, cold air rushes in to fill its spot. And then in um, the diagram, it's showing the cold air is going down and the hot air is going up. We say it's like it's switching places, which is creating the wind. And at the bottom it says, hot air rises, cold air sinks down. Flip. The wind is air in motion. Another word for motion is movement or moving. So if something is in motion, that means it's moving. It blows when hot and cold air shift spots in the sky. We know that. We've talked about that. Flip. Top of page eight. We look at the heading at the top. How do we measure the wind? It is no small task to measure a thing we cannot see. We have crafted many tools to help. Then right here, it's like a little caption that says, this is a wind vane. The tip spins as the wind blows. So this is a caption that tells us what this picture is of. This one, this one tells the direction of the wind. You look at where the tip of the arrow has landed. This one tells how fast the wind is passing by. You track the number of spins. And then this one is a fancy tool and it says, this is an anemometer. It has three cups that sit on a rod. When the wind hits the cups, the rod spins. Flip. We cannot see the wind, but we can tell its path and how fast it moves. I want to point something out that a lot of you might be wondering. So they have words, they have the word can and not as two separate words. Most of the time you see those words as one word together. But when they were writing this book, they wanted to make sure kids were able to read the word can and the word not. So they separated them even though that's not how you normally see it. Page 11. When the wind blows, it brings changes in the weather. Flip. Big storms blow over. Hot spells end. The sun pops out as the clouds drift by. Flip. With its gusts and lulls, the wind brings motion to our world. And then, as always, feel free to read the more. I'd love to hear what you find interesting from the more. 
I love you. I hope you are reading your geodes. If you have a request, if you really want me to read a specific geode, send me a message and I will see if I can read that for one of my next videos. Alright, I'll talk to you soon. Keep reading. Love ya. Bye.